Greetings, fellow Shredaholics. This is a, uh, a weird little lesson. Um, it's going to be kind of more of an ear lesson than anything. Uh, we probably won't be doing any big fast ripping scales in this one, but we're going to be tuning into the musical aspect uh, of your guitar a little bit more on this one. What it is, is um, we're not going to sit here and try and memorize the sound of every note on the guitar, but it is sort of a relative pitch exercise. We're going to start off simple, it's just a concept really, and, uh, and then you can play with it at home. The more you do, the better you get at it. So um, what, what we're doing is just we're going to place notes and mimic them with our voice. Whether you can sing or not, doesn't matter, try. Um, so, sure there's no one home, look around, no one's going to hear you, everything's cool. All right, um, grab, say, two notes. Pick a scale, first of all. It'll be easier to get your head, wrap your head around a scale you're used to playing. So I'm just going to grab maybe a B minor. And I'll take the B note, I'll take the A note. Simple enough, natural minor. So, for a little while, let's play the note. Listen to it. It's not just a number on a tab thing, it has a sound. That's what everyone else, when you're playing, hears. Sing it. And imitate. Go back and forth, do that a while for the two notes, and then start, instead of playing the note and singing after, start singing at the same time. Get funky with the rhythm a little bit, and uh, that'll all help. Then, as you get uh, more comfortable with that, start adding in some more notes from the scale, just a couple at a time. You get pretty handy at that. Um, so. First of all, what's the point of this? Well, one, um, when we often sit there and learn massive amounts of tab, it's all about where to put your fingers and all this stuff, but we really got to listen and it's going to be helpful in your improvising uh, for, uh, for a couple reasons. One, um, you know, your ideas will flow, the ideas you can sing in your head um, will flow more easily through the guitar. If you are learning solos, you can listen. And if you can sing it in your head and play it through the guitar, then you'll do a better job at interpreting other people's solos. There's all kinds of benefits, plus it makes it kind of fun, and then if you want to get in a groovy sort of George Benson frame of mind, you can jazz right along and, and sing along with your playing as well. Okay, so now that you've uh, played around a little bit with just a couple of notes, uh, maybe three or four notes, start expanding it up a little bit. Now obviously there's going to be notes that are outside of your range and inside of your, uh, you know, really low or, or too high that you won't be able to sing, but just uh, fake it and get through. Just try and stick maybe in, in the range that you are comfortable for a little while. And uh, you'll, you'll notice that after practice, uh, your musical ideas will, will flow much more easily through the guitar and you'll find you'll get a little bit more expression and you'll start caring a little bit more about the phrasing, uh, you know, the length of time you play, where you put pause marks and all that sort of stuff. It's, it's, kind, of, it's kind of more fun. So um, anyway, I'll just do a little bit of this right now just in some different keys, nothing too crazy, but just to show you what you can kind of uh, get into when you're practicing at home and, you know, spend just a little bit of time on this and consider it ear training. Make sure your guitar is in tune. Okay, so, uh... 